when you watch this game, people at home are going to, oh, that was close. But you think that may be a good thing here for the Bulldogs. Every team that gets to the Final Four will play a game something like this. And it kind of reveals your character and your toughness. Look, UNCG had the art of the upset. They controlled the tempo and the rhythm of the game for 35 minutes, extending their defense, trapping, forcing Gonzaga to reset, taking Tilly and Her uh, Rui Hashimura out of the game. But championship caliber teams find a way to make a play. Today it was normal. I mean, if you thought Tilly and Hashimura went two for 12 and they still win the game, this is just the NCAA tournament. You've got to get through one of these. First off, UNCG is a really good basketball team. They beat NC State throughout the course of the year, and Wes Miller is one heck of a coach. He's a young coach, played at North Carolina. But when, when you think about this, in, in 10 years, if Gonzaga goes on to get to a Final Four and win the whole thing, you don't look back at the box and like, oh, that was a close one. We squeaked it out. You know, it, as you move across the landscape in college basketball and NCAA tournament, it's about win and advance. And you learn from this one, but you're lucky enough and fortunate enough to play another game this weekend. Gonzaga won this one with their defense. I mean, it was a, a close game, but Gonzaga missed a dozen free throws at mm -hmm. least. They might have missed more than that. So they, they, it could have been a comfortable win if they made their free throws. But they held UNC Greensboro's a good three-point shooting team to three of 22. And that wasn't maybe a dozen years ago or so. Rebounding and defense wasn't a strength at Gonzaga. They made it a strength that is now a strength. And for them, with, with Hachimura and Tilly not playing well, or at least not scoring well, for them to, to win a game like that said a lot about how good they are.